This is Radio 1's Hottest Record. All right, Thursday evening, time to delve deeper into tonight's Hottest Record and it is a gargantuan one. It is the meeting of Sigrid and Bring Me The Horizon. And this is a novel thing, actually, because I've never done an interview like this. I've got Sigrid in the studio in the flesh. Good evening, Sigrid. Hi. And down the line via the wonders of technology, we have got Ollie from Bring Me. Hello, Ollie. Ollie, how's it going? It's going good. Um, I did earlier on here, you call Sigrid Siggers, which I am. <laughs> Uh-huh. Delightfully entertained by that is that's just a very cute nickname. Was this was this an instant thing? The nickname? I've only just started to feel close enough to Siggers that I can get away with saying that. Bless you. <laughs> I don't even know. Can I get can I get away with saying that? You can, but it's because it's you. But I feel like early on in the group text with me and Ollie and Jordan also from Bring Me, I saw like one day I was like, "Hi, Siggers," and I was like, "Okay, I'll allow it." <laughs> It's fine. I've, start, I've started doing the cigarette emoji with the Z now for you, haven't I? That's why you said it. I didn't get that until now, obviously. Oh yeah. my gosh, I love that. All your fans are going to do that constantly now. That's Probably. all you're going to see. Yeah. Right, this tune, Bad Life, this group chat, there's so much to discuss. How did you guys first, you know, even get into contact? Because I said on the show yesterday, sentences I never thought I'd say in 2022. Sigrid and Bring Me The Horizon. So how did it go down? We have been fans of each other. I'm just saying it. So, but I feel like you agree, Oli. But I've been a massive fan of Bring Me for a long time. We've listened a lot to it in the tour bus. And then apparently they were fans of my music as well. And then me and Jordan, we met up at Reading last year. And uh, there was a song, Bad Life, floating around an early demo that Oli and Jordan made. And uh, they sent the song to me and I loved it. And we wrote on it afterwards. And that's how this happened. Right on. Do you know what? Big up Jordan, because Jordan Fish, uh, for those that don't know, I think has got a really great ear for great pop hooks. He's 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 that guy, isn't he? Well, both of them. Yeah. He's an incredible writer. Of course, of course. <laughs> no, of course. I'm just, as, Jordan, no, no, as, no, Jordan, no. as Jordan isn't here, but I, I know he's a Absolutely. big he's a big fan of like a great pop hook, isn't he, Jordan? He is, yeah. He likes his pop. Um, look, you know, the lyrics are very direct from the start. Everyone's damaged, a little depressed. Every now and then we get that feeling in our chest. I think uh, we can we can all relate. Why did you choose to put a song like this out now as well? Do you feel like we do you feel like we need this now, Ollie? Um, definitely. I mean, I think we always do. I mean, in the world at the moment, it's just like one thing after another. When I wrote the lyrics, it was like kind of second wave of lockdown, and they're definitely like frontline workers and people going through really tough times were at the forefront of my mind when I was writing it. But like it. Unfortunately, it just seems to feel ever more relevant like as the times progress. So, yeah, I think there's a lot of people out there that need to hear this message. Um, to be honest, it's even for myself and stuff. Like, it's it's a nice way to remind yourself that things do pass and it's not, you know, I, especially with the way things are going. It's like sometimes it feels like we're stuck in like a, in this really bad place. But, you know, these times do come and, and, and they do pass. So I think so. Yeah, everything is temporary, we hope, you know. Mm. Okay, we're going to hear more from Sigrid and Oli after another spin, or maybe the first spin if you just tuned in. Good evening of tonight's hottest record. This is Bad Life. This is Radio 1's hottest record. That was Bad Life, tonight's hottest record from Sigrid and Bring Me the Horizon. And I'm joined by Sigrid, or Sigurds, as uh, she's now known, and Oli from Bring Me. When it came to recording it, how did you guys do this? Was this? Were you able to make it a face-to-face situation or was it all just with the power of the internet? Well, no, we met up in London uh, a couple of weeks after Reading, where we met. And I remember the sound technician of the day in the studio. He was the sweetest guy. And he was really excited that Bring Me was going to be there. And then I walk into the studio like like two hours later. And then he was like, what? What is she doing here? Like, what's (laughs) this? He didn't understand what was going on, but it was really fun. Like, that was the first time I also realized, oh, this is is maybe a pretty unlikely collab or a match. But it was such a fun session. It it was really fun to see both our worlds collide. And Mm. there's there's similarities in like melodies and vision and we both love a lot of the same music as well lyrically we come from maybe more different worlds but it was really fun to yeah to to meet me halfway there it's cool for me and jordan this is probably like the first not the, one of the first properly successful times we've like written a song then written for someone else and it's all worked out and it's like we've done a lot of stuff with other artists and stuff like that that haven't seen the light of day and stuff i i saw sigrid maybe like five years ago live for the first time i was introduced by uh, through my wife so like we were making the video the other week and i was a little emotional on the set because i was like how has this happened like i couldn't even sing at one point like how how have i how have i managed to <laughs> 
I have gone for this, this artist that is like one of the best singers in the world and like really pushing pop music. Like, how how am I part of like making a song for this person? It was it's it's really cool. So, Sigrid, you look very emotional. Yeah, thanks, mate. Oh, now you're making me a bit emotional. Yeah, I really appreciate that. I am a huge fan of everything that you guys and Bring Me do. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a really big moment for me as well. Like I never ever thought I was cool enough to be on a track with a band like you. <laughs> I thought that was yeah. like, no, it's not going to happen. Very much here for this this mutual full circle moment <laughs> yeah. for both of you. Love it. Well, look, it definitely paid off the time in the studio. I think you are just as cool as each other. It's all okay. Everyone's allowed to be friends. It's all <laughs> and, and hopefully, um, if you're going through it right now, this will help you a little bit. <laughs> 